Good day. Tree mugs here. So I wanted to show you more detail on uh, what I call the overhand flip method for tying a bowlin and a running bowlin. So I wanted to just back up a step or two. Uh, traditionally, if you've learned how to tie the bowlin from a book, it usually shows it like this. And this is what I call the rabbit in the hole method. So it usually shows a rabbit hole like this, and you take, this is the rabbit, he comes up through the hole, goes around behind the tree, and then back down into the hole. And then you tighten this up. So this is how almost all illustrations will show you how to tie the bowlin, and this is how I learned to tie it as well. And there's nothing wrong with that, it does work. So what I consider to be the better way is what I call the overhand flip method. So instead of doing the rabbit hole and coming up and around, you're going to sort of do all of those things all in one motion. So I'm going to take the tail, I'm going to put it through, and then I'm going to flip up. And now what I have, I have my rabbit hole, my rabbit already up through the hole, all in one motion. And then I'm just going to take it around behind the tree and back down. So again, I'm just going to, so this rests on top, okay, and then I'm going to grab it and flip it up like this, and then behind and through. So that's the overhand flip method. Now, as a concept, this is the bowlin. If you were to take the standing end of your rope through the bowlin, like this and flip it around. What you would have here is a bowlin tied onto its own standing end. This is what we call a running bowlin. It's a running knot. It allows you to tie something at a distance and run it up to a tree or an object. So you can use the overhand flip method for this as well. And this application is where I feel that the, uh, the overhand flip method really shines because I've seen many people struggle, especially when they're, in a, when they're hanging in a weird orientation in a tree or whatever, they'll struggle to figure out how to tie this, this rabbit in the hole method. So all, I, all I'm doing here is I go around the tree, I'm gonna come underneath my standing end, I'm gonna take the tail up, again, it's the exact same thing, through and flip it up, round behind and back down, right? So that's my running bow with the overhand flip method. So again, it's fast and easy. You just go around the tree. You're gonna come underneath the standing end. You're gonna come up here, with the tail through and flip up all in one motion. Then it's gonna come behind the standing end and back down the hole. So that is the bowlin and the running bowlin with the overhand flip method.